appreciate it so very much. And you're going to have to save that for later on. You're going to need the energy to carry out all the gifts that I'm going to give you. Remember, lift with the legs. <laughs> the legs. That's later in the show. Right now, I want to talk about something else because it's my show and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The third of you agree with me. <laughs> How many of you send holiday cards? Yeah. Okay. okay. See, see, and then some people don't. I've noticed there are two types of people, those who send holiday cards and those who don't. And those who do, I've noticed there are two kinds of people as well. Those who do it well and those who don't. <laughs> so now we're up to four types. There's a lot of types of people, everybody. People are serious about their holiday cards because that's, they have to choose one picture to capture the essence of their entire family. Or at least what you want people to think your entire family is. <laughs> So when people open the card, they're like, oh, it's the Davisons. Look at them in matching flannel running through the leaves with their golden retriever. <laughs> but you know the Davidsons, and you know they're not outdoorsy people. <laughs> they're indoorsy. There's probably tags still on the flannel. They're going <laughs> to return the, the flannel tomorrow. They don't own a golden retriever. They don't have a dog at all. If they really wanted to show you what the family is like, they'd send a picture of mom and dad drinking peppermint schnapps, and the kids are ripping stuffing out of the couch cushions. That's what. <laughs> Or at least that's the Davidsons have the decency to just send one picture. There's always that family that they can't decide on which picture, so they send all of them. <laughs> it's like a teeny tiny montage of their entire, don't send that card to me. I don't have time to get my glasses. I don't. <laughs> it's a holiday greeting, not your family's life history. Here's another important rule. Keep your holiday letters brief. Act like it's Twitter, and not the new Twitter where you can use extra words, the old Twitter. If you need more than a page to tell me what's new with your family, you have too many kids. <laughs> and I think I can speak for all of us. If you're going to make us go through the trouble of reading your holiday letter, put some cash in there. <laughs> Just some, a dollar. <laughs> like a dollar a word. That's what it should be. <laughs> so to recap, one picture, 140 characters or less, and send cash. In case you're still unsure of what not to do, this is a montage of some pretty bad holiday cards. But they're good. Enjoy. <laughs>